Recently, I shot a roll with this camera, the Bilora Bella 66, a very simple uh, media format camera made in Germany in the 1950s. Now, I found this in a flea market already quite a while ago, but such as it is, I have quite a long list of cameras I want to try, and this one is, uh, was quite far back on it. So, But finally, I have caught up. My first location was the harbor this time. I mean, usually I go to railway stations and rail yards and such things, but decided to be a bit more creative today. On the first shot, I made the same mistake as I did with the Agfai Sola on the first shot with that camera. I forgot to set the focus. Of course, you need to set it manually. Fortunately, it was set at a point where it's still like my subject was still within the depth of field, so no issue there. Fortunately, the rest of the photographing went quite smoothly. Actually, it went very smoothly, I would say, because right when I left my first location and got in the car, hail started falling from the sky, and also quite violently. My next location, well, I couldn't stay away from the train station, but before that, I actually found quite a nice scene. And that is also actually all thanks to the bad weather, or bad weather, <laughs> it was very, good for me in this case. This photo of this house a little bit on some small hill with this quite dramatic clouds in the background, well, this is my favorite from this role, so it was quite unplanned. When I finally arrived to the train station, well, then I, of course, photographed the typical trains and train tracks and such things. But there's also this new bridge that crosses the railway tracks, or new, it has been there maybe at least half a year already. And it has quite some interesting architecture. And I noticed that this uh, square format 6x6 is quite good for this architecture because you get like more space above and below the picture without having to use a wider lens. That's one thing I like about this uh, format. Now when I have shot one roll with the camera, I can sum up my experiences of the Bilora Bella 66. First of all, I would like to compare it to the Agfai Sola because they are very similar cameras. The Bilora is a little bit better built, I mean it's much more metal. The Isola is quite plastic in some parts and much lighter. The usability is also a bit better on the Bilora because it's much easier to load the film in it, even though you have to take off the back from it. But still, it was a bit of a hassle on the Isola. When it comes to image quality, I have to say that the Isola has a little bit better lens, so let's say technically better, it's slightly sharper. And well, the Bilora has a lot of, let's say, defects, like uh, very, not very heavy, but there is some very noticeable vignetting. And also the distortion is quite heavy. I mean, I did not see the same distortion at all on the Isola. I was quite surprised after I scanned this photo, I was like, did I scan it wrong or something? Or why is there this much distortion on it? But also on the shot from the railway bridge, there is quite a lot of distortion. So I guess it's a feature of the lens. And thirdly, I noticed uh, some light streaks in the picture from the Bilora. I don't think this is like a side effect of the design of the camera. It's probably just because the camera is old and I have not serviced it. And I don't think I will fix it either because I just kind of like this effect. For what it is uh, designed to be, I mean, a pocket camera in the 1950s. This camera does a good job. It was quite easy to use. Of course, I'm already like used to these type of cameras. I mean, you have to set everything manually, focus, shutter and so on. There's also a risk to get double exposure by mistake. Of course, they can also be fun sometimes, but also they can be annoying. <laughs> Another observation is that the shutter is actually very silent. So sometimes I was like, 
did it actually fire the shutter or not? And I was like, huh, I'm, I don't know. So after I finished the roll, took it out, I was just firing the shutter again to double check that it actually is working. And yeah, it seemed to be working. And evidentially since I had the photos, but yeah, that was one thing which worried me for quite a bit. <laughs> but in any case, if you're looking for a like super cheap medium form of camera or a very simple one, or you already have it, I mean, sure, you, you can grab a roll of film and take some shots with it. It's a quite fun camera to use after all. Right, so I think this is all I want to say about this camera. If you liked the video, well, remember to press the like button or maybe the dislike button, I don't know. If you want to see more videos about weird cameras, well, then you can subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!